Hi, my name is Simon York, Portfolio Advisor for the Engineering Sector here at City and Girls. I'm going to talk through the Sample Academic Planner to deliver the new Engineering Tech Back and Technical Qualifications. This Sample Planner shows the three academic terms, Autumn, Spring and Summer, in red, blue and green respectively. There are quite a few different sizes of qualification and the ones we will be looking at today are nominally the 360 and 720 Guided Learning Hour size qualifications named the Advanced Technical Certificate and Extended Diploma respectively. As we move towards total qualification time, this will be used to give a clear indication of how long a learner will take to complete the programme. The delivery strategy of these qualifications is flexible and very much determined by the learner's needs and future progression requirements. A 720 size qualification may be delivered alongside an A-level in mathematics as part of a two-year programme for some learners interested in progression onto higher education courses. Alternatively, some learners may want to use the qualifications as a precursor to an apprenticeship but may wish to have the option to continue their studies and to study mathematics at level 3. The option we are going to look at today will illustrate this. As you can see from the plan, it's very much a teaching plan and there are some important and immovable milestones. Initially, centres may want to start delivery with the fundamental units, such as the materials unit and the mathematics unit. And these early weeks on the plan will have a tick next to them to signify that some teaching will take place on these units at the start of the programme. After approximately six weeks of delivery, centres could carry out some formative assessments to ensure learners are making adequate progress. The week after this is the last registration date for the technical qualification. The centre can then deliver the remainder of these core units and can be flexible in the delivery of them, demonstrating clear links between the subjects. Once these units are complete, the delivery of the manufacturing and the design units could commence, allowing learners to apply the prior learning. Around week 19, the synoptic assessment will be issued. And this starts a 12 week window where this assessment will be completed. The window allows centres to ensure resources are in place for the assessment. The delivery of the assessment also reinforces the learning by applying this to a practical project. Revision will also take place during this period in preparation for the dated external test. In this example, the test would cover units 301 to 306 and results of this test will be returned to centres four to six weeks after submission. In weeks 30 and 31, the synoptic assessment is completed and marks are submitted to City and Girls. Resubmissions are determined internally and this process is all included in the 12 week window. A second opportunity to sit the external test is available around week 34. And this is for those unable to achieve this at the first available slot. The results for this test will also be available four to six weeks after submission. The results of the synoptic assessments will be released to centres around week 36. As long as assessment data adhered to, every other aspect of delivery is flexible. Alongside this core activity, learners could be working on broader workplace and project skills, and the plan also shows how these can be run alongside the main program. The important registration and submission dates are shown on the plan. Delivery of this new style qualification is very project focused so it is possible to formalise this project based learning by using the extended project qualification in the first year. As the main qualification has a mathematics unit deliverable in the first year, centres may wish to allow learners that do decide to return to continue to study mathematics and those learners could then complete the using and applying mathematics qualification at level 3. This is the qualification most commonly referred to as a core maths qualification. The second year follows a very similar pattern with set exam dates and a 12 week window again for the synoptic assessment. Four of the units could be delivered initially with two later on in the year. This sample has the project management unit as one, as the, one of the two optional choices plus one of the sector specific optional units. Assessment will be slightly different here with external assessment for the workshop and innovation units. The synoptic assessments will also cover these units plus units 310 and 311. 
small assessments covering the optional choices will also be delivered. I hope that's given a good idea of how a centre could deliver a really outstanding programme that meets the needs of learners, employees and higher education institutions. The key is really around flexibility, both in the teaching model and in the progression options available for the learners. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions, please contact me or your business manager. Or you will find more information at our website, www.cityandguilds.com forward slash techback.